Hi, boys and girls, we're gonna sing this little light of mine. So grab your lights, here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, can you take your other hand? You're gonna cover your light and we're gonna sing hide it under a bushel and you get to yell as loud as you can. I wanna hear you yell, no! And you're gonna uncover it. Are you ready? Okay, let's try it, here we go. Hide it under a bushel, hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. For our next verse, you're gonna try to blow out your candle. You wanna practice with me? We're gonna sing, don't let anyone put it out. You ready? Let's try it. Don't let anyone put it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let anyone put it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, for our next verse, you're gonna take your imaginary candle here, your light, you're gonna make a big circle. We're gonna shine it all around the neighborhood. Let's try it. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, for our very last verse, I want you to take your light and hold it up as high as you can. We're gonna sing, let it shine till Jesus comes. Are you ready to help me? Let's go. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Welcome to joy. I'm Michael Harmuth of St. Michael and All Angels, and today I have a story for you. It's a special story. It's about, well, it's about a vineyard, and a vineyard is where they grow grapes. Well, today as we begin, we see a, animals, the horse and a couple animals going through the vineyard, and the landowner who owned this vineyard had animals also, and they would gather around, and I suspect as some of the grapes fell, they probably ate them. Well, Isaiah the prophet tells us this story today. It's about God's vineyard. God's garden. And God, he looked about and saw a fertile hill, a wonderful place to put a vineyard. And so he gathered around and he planted the finest of grapes. Look at those grapes. They're plump, they're good, they're wonderful. And he put a watchtower around those grapes. He didn't want anybody to come in there and steal them or other animals coming in. And so he built a wall around it and a watchtower and he made what is called a wine press. Now you'll see that wine press there and what they do is they pick the grapes and they put them in that shallow place in that wine press and they take their shoes off and they go in in their bare feet and they crush, crush, crush the grapes to get the juice. And then they get that juice and they put it in barrels and, and make it ready for wine. Well, it was time to pick the grapes. And Isaiah says God went to pick the grapes and wow, all the grapes were sour grapes. Why? He planted good ones, they came out sour. Why is that? He was so disappointed that he tore down the hedge of the vineyard. And after he did that, he tore down the wall of the vineyard. And then he let the wild animals in and they came in and destroyed it. And he let the dandelions and that grow up and destroy the vines. And why? Isaiah says, the grapes represent the people of God. And the people of God are expected to be good grapes, good people. 
but it turned out they were sour grapes, people who didn't respect God. And so God was very disappointed in the people. But remember something. God was disappointed, but God still loved them. It's like us. When we do things contrary to God's law, God is disappointed in us, but he still loves us. And he's very, very merciful. Join me now as we say the Lord's Prayer. And in that prayer, we ask God to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In other words, we ask God to be merciful to us. Join me now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>